All right now. Metaphobia. Let's see what this one's all about. My name is Richard Elmstad, and I used to call this city home. If you live here long enough, the stench of this city seeps into your skin, and you have to get out. I lived here long enough, and then some. Long enough to get to know the people at the top, the politicians who line their pockets while the city decays, the vultures who take what they want while the rest of us go hungry. I'm a painter. I don't make much off my work. But I get by. I come from a long line of politicians, but I never wanted any part of that life. I traded the mansion on the hills for the life of a starving artist the first chance I got. I never regretted it. All the city reporters used to know my name. Some of them knew me for my work. Most knew me for my father. Carl Elmstadt, my father, was the leader of the beloved Cosmopolitan Party. And this past year, he ran for mayor. He was running against Edward Raban, an old rival of his, and pledged to change the way City Hall did business. He was a natural leader and an honest man. He saw the city not for what it was, but for what it could be. Politics was more than a job for my father. It was his calling. He never took a vacation and always showed up at town halls. For better or worse. The people adored him. Even when he failed, they knew he was fighting for them. He was fighting to take the city back, and the vultures at the top weren't going to let him. The night it happened was nothing special. He was working from home, as he often did. That night was his last. A cold-blooded armed robber broke in and shot him. The killer stole everything he could and left my father bleeding on the floor. My father was a noble man. He deserved better. When I was a kid, my father never had time for me. When I got older, I decided I didn't have time for him. Now I'm burying him, and I wish I could go back. I wish I could talk to him one more time. I'd tell him that I admired his courage that I loved him, and always did. This was no random crime. It was calculated, planned. I'm sure of it. After the election, my father made enemies. And that night, one of them struck back. In my bones, I know that Edward Raban is responsible for this atrocity. But I have to prove it. I don't have many friends in this city. But if there's one person who can help me at a time like this, it's Judy. I only hope she'll take my call. Hello, Patricia. I really miss you. Hi, Dad. How was your trip? I hope you weren't bored. It's a long way from home. What do you think? I was just staring out the window contemplating life? It's the 21st century, Dad. I have my phone. Can we just skip the lame small talk? Well, Damn. somebody's a bit cranky from the trip. <laughs> Why don't you just relax a bit? We'll talk later. Can't wait. Teenagers. Seriously. <clears throat> I have to find out what happened to my Return father. Phone. I know I haven't spoken to Judy in more than six years, but I need her help. I should call her as soon as possible. All right. So this is our guy, Richard. I'm trying to figure out what happened to his dead politician dad. I'm guessing there's a little daughter over here. And Judy, maybe our ex-wife? I'll leave that there. I'll leave that there. Of course, this is a nice point and click. No adventure. time for jazz right now. What? There's always time for jazz. I'm blind. I don't need to touch that. I don't want to change my clothes right now. Hmm. 
My knife. I've been looking for this for weeks. I wonder why it's in here. All right, so this is our inventory. I got the knife, I got some cash, and a phone. What's this? Oh, just our settings. We'll leave that as is. Do you have a moment, sweetheart? What is it? How you holding up, honey? I mean, with Grandpa. It's still hard to believe. I can't wrap my mind around it. How can anyone be so evil? I ask myself that question every day. I miss him so much. Me too. Okay, at least she's not completely scallop. Scallops? Oh, it's too early. Callous. Are you still interested in art? Or are you totally obsessed with boys now? Are you making fun of me? <laughs> Trying to make a joke. Of course I'm still interested in art, Dad. What are you working on? Still painting? Sculpting? What? I'm not in the mood for this right now. Come on. We used to always talk about art. It was fun, wasn't it? It was. I just don't feel like talking about it right now. Okay, geez. Fine. Fair. Family member just died. Not a lot of people want to talk. Uh, let's ask about school then. How is school? Can we please skip the how is school <laughs> and gee, what nice weather we're having conversations? Just asking. School is fine. We have a go-to conversations, right? How is your mother? Oh, now you care? After 10 years? Look, I said Judy is a wife. I just want to know how she is. She's fine. She's got a new boyfriend. He's okay, but he's bald. So? <laughs> Why would anyone date a bald guy when they can date a guy with hair? Don't be so shallow. <laughs> just being realistic, Dad. You should try it. I am. I just don't judge people based on their looks. Maybe one day you'll go bald. Then what would you say? Yeah, right. Right. Why date someone when it's bald? Fuck. How is my sweetest angel? How should I know? Ask one of your girlfriends. Oh, Come on, Patty. Shit. Really? What do you want me to say? We haven't seen each other in months. I really missed you. Oh boy, here we go again. Yes, Dad, I love you too. Do we have to do this every five minutes? When did you Dad. become so sarcastic? I don't know, this morning. <laughs> <sighs> Never mind. That's it for now. Good answer. Okay. So many girlfriends, eh? It's a bit of a sleep around. I don't need anything in there. I'll leave that there. I wish I had time for a nap. I already took a shower today. All right, so I think that's it. Let's try calling. Why should I call her when she's here? When she's here? Is she in the same building? So this is where it happened. I'm sorry, today. Father. I wish I'd been a better son to you when you were alive. I promise. I will find out who did this to you. I will. What a beautiful view of the garden. Autumn is finally here. The leaves are starting to change. What's this? I don't black? need that. I love the smell of antique wood. Right? Love antique furniture. I love the smell of antique wood. Check the drawers. Peroxide in his work office? That's unusual. I'll take it nevertheless. Yeah, it is a bit odd. 
the top drawer. It's empty. No time to relax. Put these books up here. Electra, Pride and Prejudice. The Catcher in the Rye, The Elephant Man, Animal Farm. I'll figure out that puzzle later, I guess. It's over here. Hmm, let me see. An old phone book. I'll take it. Never know who I may need to call. The old phone book is enough. Okay. <clears throat> I love the smell of antique wood. So you say. I don't need to call anyone from the phone book right now. No, that's not possible. <laughs> this phone book is pretty heavy. You said to bash someone said it? I don't need to put this book back there. puzzle right now. Let's leave. I'll leave that where it is. I'll leave that there. I'll leave that there. Oh, what's this box up here? I'll leave that there. Do you have a moment, sweetheart? What is it? Is everything all right? I guess so. Okay. No answer. Of course. She never answers her phone. Even though the thing is practically glued to her hands. Call a telemarketer. Of course. She never answers her phone. Call every five minutes till they Even though the pick thing up. is practically glued to her hands. Alright, anyone else? Oh, I see. Cassidy? Hello, Judy. It's me, Richard. It's been a while. Wow, the great Richard Elmsta has decided to grace me with a phone call. I am great, aren't I? Listen, Judy. <laughs> I know you're upset with me, but I really need to talk to you. Talk about what? About my father's death. I need your help. Sorry to be blunt, Richard, but I haven't heard from you in six years. Now you want me to comfort you and tell you everything's going to be all right? 
No, it's not like that. I'll explain everything. Go ahead then, explain. Not now. Can we meet in private? Fine. Come to my place. Thanks. Alright, so we should have a new destination then, right? This is a nice little office. Hey, Judy. If it isn't the famous painter, Richard Elmstadt. Please, Judy. Not now. I need your help. Must be pretty damn important for you to come crawling back to me. Damn. Come she on, Judy. the grudge. Stop it. I know it's been a long time, but I can't change that now. And, well, it's good to see you. I missed you. Yeah, right. If you missed me, you would have called. Judy, please. I really am sorry. Look, if it makes you feel better, you weren't the only one. I haven't spoken to anyone. Why? Why would you do that? What did we do to you? I can't explain what happened. I needed to leave. Whatever. So, what do you want? I'll apologize Judy, first. I can't apologize enough for what I did. I didn't want to leave you. I just couldn't be here anymore. You could have said something. You could have called. You just disappeared. I know. I was going through a difficult time. Don't act like the victim, Richard. We all thought you lost your mind. We thought you were... I know. Please forgive me. I wish I could go back and change it. But you can't. Well, nice to have you back, I guess. You look good. Thanks. You too. Okay. So we just kind of shut off from the world for about six years for whatever reason. So how have you been all these years? Eh, same crap, different toilet. But hey, <laughs> I'm alive. I'm retired from the force, but man, do I uh, miss it. I'm so bored, it hurts. Maybe I can help with that. Here we go. Guy drops off the face of the earth and shows up at my doorstep saying he can save me. No, thank you. <laughs> Come on, don't be like that. I said I was sorry. I bet Call you're sorry. Call us it as it is, eh? You know, you lost a good thing. I know Patricia was never crazy about me, but you were. What's done is done. Uh, yeah, whatever. Figured she was an ex or something. I'm here because I need your help. What a surprise. I know you're not on the force anymore, but can you still track down anybody under the sun? You still got the system up and running? Yeah, I still got it. You're the only one who can help me. So, spit it out. Who are we looking for? Now, I understand being an ex-cop would have connections into the police force still, but they would not have access to the actual system, right? That seems like a huge security breach. Oh, well. Let's check out Ubin. Or Edward Raban. I'm sure you heard about my father. Of course. I'm so sorry. I need your help. I think Raban was behind it. Jesus, Richard. That is a bold accusation. Yep. You know he's the mayor, right? Exactly. He's the mayor now, since my father died. I never took you to be the conspiracy theory type. I know it may seem suspicious to you, but you can't just go around accusing people of murder. Besides, True. they already caught the killer. I know. That's why I want to find out what really happened. On my own. Of course there would be a fall guy, right? Well, with your help. Sorry, Richard. It just sounds a little far-fetched. I need some kind of proof that Raban wanted to get your father out of the way. See you for now. Bye. She won't help me if she doesn't believe me. I need to somehow prove that Raban was behind my father's death. Alright, how are we going to figure that out? Honestly, I don't need any of those books. How do you know? There's a lot of books here. Honestly, I don't need any of those books. 
Check out the view. The window is crystal clear. I don't want to smudge it. I leave that where it is. I never had much of a green thumb. All right, let's get out of here. Guess we'll head back to the office. Let's see what else we can find. The old phone book is enough. The Could police the already computer. went through his documents and computer data as part of their investigation. I won't find anything useful in there. I don't need that. Still don't know what to do with this puzzle. What a beautiful view of the garden. Autumn is finally here. The leaves are starting to change. I love the smell of antique wood. Got nothing to say about the picture on his desk? I love the smell of antique wood. I love the smell of antique wood. The old phone book is enough. I don't need to call anyone from the phone book right now. Pouring hydrogen peroxide on that won't help. There's enough on the desk already. Pouring hydrogen peroxide on that won't help. So I need to pour it on something. I'd rather not. I'd rather not. I don't want to throw this out the window. Okay. Hmm. There's something at home I'm missing. <clears throat> I don't want to change my clothes right now. I don't need to touch that. I already took a shower today. I don't need anything in there. I wish I had time for a nap. I'll just leave it there. What if she comes back? Oh, your model. All right. No time for jazz right now. I'm not hungry. So there's got to be something more at the office here, right? It's empty. empty what a beautiful I don't need that so there's obviously something to do with these books but the smell of antique wood. police already went through his documents and computer data as part of their investigation. I won't find anything useful in there.
What should I do with this? Richard, please don't waste my time. Damn. Do you know what this is? Hydrogen peroxide. It's a disinfectant. My mom always made me put it on cuts and scrapes. God, I hated that. It burns. Okay. Lots of money? Do you need any money? Keep it. You need it more than I do. Saying I'm poor just because I'm a starving artist? She won't help me if she doesn't believe me. I need to somehow prove that Raban was behind my father's death. Honestly, I don't need any of those books. I don't want to mess with Judy's stuff. Remember when we used to look up numbers in the phone book and prank call them? <laughs> kind of. Oh. That's kind of sweet. Do you know what hydrogen peroxide is? It's a chemical compound, H2O2. In its pure form, it's blue, but the stuff you get at the store is watered down to 3%. Wow, how did you know all that? School. We just took a test on compounds in chemistry. Okay. That's mildly interesting. Hey, Patty. Here's a little spending money for you. You don't have to bribe me, Dad. I'm here of my own free will. <laughs> <coughs> All right. Tell me anything else about hydrogen peroxide. Do you know what hydrogen peroxide is? Oh, it's just the same thing. It's a chemical compound, H2O2. In its pure form, it's blue, but the stuff you get at the store is watered down to 3%. Wow, how did you know all that? We just took a test on compounds in chemistry. Nothing else useful in there. My paintbrush. I'll take it. I'll just leave it there. What if she comes back? I could wet the brush with that, but it wouldn't be of any use. Hmm. The knife is too dull to cut the brush hairs. I need something sharper. No, that's not possible. I don't think that's going to work. Pouring hydrogen peroxide on that won't help. I shouldn't cut that. I might need it. Hmm. The knife is too dull to cut the brush hairs. I need something sharper. What good's the knife then? This place is a mess. I better clean it up. I'll start with these scissors. Yes, I could do that, but I don't see a reason for that at the moment. I could wet the brush with that, but it wouldn't be of any use. I shouldn't cut that. I might need it. Okay. Any other items? I don't need anything in there. I wish I had time for a nap. I'll leave that where it is. I don't want to change my clothes right now. Alright, let's head back to the office then. Wow, 
Why would I do such a thing? I don't know. Why not? Yes. Yes, I could do that. I don't want to throw this out the window. I can't just do that. I don't think that's going to work. I don't want to put that in there. No, that's not possible. I don't need to put this book back there. Still not gonna answer, eh? <clears throat> of course. She never answers her phone. Even though the thing is practically glued to her hands. All right, let's call Judy. Maybe she'll give me some tips on finding clues. Yeah, she's not going to pick up. Oh. Hey, Judy. <coughs> How are you? I'm fine. What's up? Nothing. Just saying hello. Oh, okay. I'll talk to you later then. Call me if something important comes up. Sure. Bye. Yes, but I need help finding it important. What if I just phone book is pretty heavy. I don't need to call anyone from the phone book right now. I could wet the brush with that, but it wouldn't be of any use. Hmm. So then why did I get scissors? And a knife. I don't need that. I love the smell of antique wood. The police already went through his documents and computer data as part of their investigation. I won't find anything useful in there. What a beautiful view of the garden. Autumn is finally here. The leaves are starting to change. What a beau- No time to relax. The old phone. The old. The old. The old, the old phone. artist can't go anywhere without his brush, I see. <laughs> what should I do with this? Richard, please don't waste my time. <laughs> Check this out. I still have my old cell phone. Wow, look at that relic. Ever thought about buying a smartphone? I don't need all that. I can call people and they can call me. That's what a phone is for. Bit of a purist, eh? Judy's computer is practically her baby. I shouldn't touch it. What can you tell me about that? You carry a knife on you? That's a little extreme, isn't it? No way. I don't want to give Judy another reason to kill me. She won't help me if she... Honestly? Okay. Why do 
gotta come back here. Let's go home again. And I'm running around in circles. How about you paint something for me? I'm not really in the mood right now. Sorry. <sighs> You're never in the mood. You're just a grumpy old teenager. Can you tell me something about that? If you want to kill someone, you should find a better weapon. That's a Damn. little morbid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Just saying. Alright, what, what about this? Can you tell me something about that? Careful! You're gonna cut a hole in your pants carrying that thing around. <laughs> uh, what do you say about my old cell phone? Do you get reception here? If not, you can borrow my phone. No way! Your phone belongs in a museum. We got dead with that thing, eh? Hmm. My clothes aren't expensive, but they are very comfortable. My clothes aren't ex- I'll leave that there. My clothes aren't- I'm not drinking that. It'll make me sick. Pouring hydrogen- I'm not the type of person who counts my- I don't want to pull a Van Gogh. <laughs> that I cut my hair on my own once. It looked terrible. Patricia never let me live it down. All right, so I don't want to paint on myself. Paint belongs on a canvas. I'll leave that. I'll leave. I'll leave. I'll leave that. I'll leave that. No time for jazz, right? I wish. There's gotta be something else we can pick up. What a mess. I don't need anything. What a mess. I don't want it. I'll leave that. There's got to be something here, right? So what am I supposed to do with this puzzle? What is oh. that? I don't need to push those books around anymore. I already found the secret compartment. Well, by sheer force, I got it. It's a sealed document. Why did Father hide it like this? There's nothing else in there. Dad, what did you hide in there? No need to do that. I can open this envelope easily with my hands. 
I would never destroy my father's. So, open it. Dad. I don't have. Let's just go straight to Judy. Take a look at this. Look what I found. Not much to look at. Why don't you open it first? I tried to. Dad, what did you hide in there? Dad. What did you hide in there? No need to do that. I can open this envelope easily with my hands. So open it. Dad. I don't want to... Dad. Dad. shouldn't show this to anyone except so why not open it I can't just there's enough on the death there's enough on dad what did you hide in there dad no need to do that I can Hey, Judy. How are you? I'm fine. What's up? Nothing. Just saying hello. Richard, I'm a little busy at the moment. Oh, okay. I'll talk to you later then. Call me at some point. Sure. God damn it. There's nothing. Dad. Dad. No. Dad. 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 Open the damn thing. Dad. 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 What did you hide in there? No need to do that. I can open the... I don't have to put that in there. That wouldn't fit. I'd rather... I don't have... I would never destroy... No need to do that. Pouring hydrogen peroxide on that. An envelope I found in Father's office. I should open it carefully. A pair of scissors. My paint. An old phone book. Hydrogen. Okay, I see. These documents appear to be some kind of policy agenda. Let me see. Wow, this is huge. These documents detail my father's proposals for a wide array of new social programs. He called it Project Cosmo. He wanted to reinvest in the city's educational system with major building renovations and a new vocational school downtown. He had a plan to fight homelessness too. The city would build new shelters and partner with drug rehabilitation centers on a new work training program. He was going to raise the minimum wage and create a system that would offer health care to all city residents. It's ambitious to say the least. But how would he pay for it? Hmm. Apparently Project Cosmo also included an anti-corruption initiative. My father had located hundreds of millions of dollars in misused funds. This was money that was flowing to organized crime syndicates and, of course, right into the pockets of Edward Raban and his political cronies. This document identifies at least two dozen politicians from both parties who were stealing money from the budget. Amazing. Raban must have found out about this and knew it would be the end of him. 
Could this be why he had my father killed? I wonder who else knows about this. I may be the only one. I should be careful with these documents. Yeah, that kind of stuff is dangerous. Let's go show it to Judy. I found a series of documents my father was hiding. They outlined an ambitious plan for the city's future. And trust me, this would have been the end of Raban's political career. What was in the documents? Take a look. A series of social programs that would improve the city's schools, fight homelessness, raise the minimum wage, even offer health insurance to city residents. And all of it was going to be paid for by taking down the corrupt politicians who had been stealing from the city for decades. He named names, Judy. Most of them were Edward Raban's guys, too. He planned to go after Raban and his connections to organized crime. He was going to reform the whole city. Imagine the difference a man like that could have made. Huh. I guess I never knew that side of your father. I always assumed he was just like the rest of them. No. He was a great man. But I fear he made some powerful enemies. Clearly. All right, Richard. Let's say for now that you're right about Raban. Maybe he did have something to do with your father's death. What's our next move? Do you need me to look into something? Yeah, look into Raban. The public won't believe me unless I can prove what my father wrote in these documents. Think you can help? Can you dig into Edward Raban's past a bit? Maybe we can find something that links him to the corruption my father talked about. Let me check. It's not going to be easy. Yep, like I thought. I can get you archived newspapers, police records going back a decade, maybe a few internal memos, but the good stuff is classified. Only one with access to the real Raban is Raban himself. So I'll break into his office. So, yeah. Crime beats crime, right? Huh. Yeah, security will definitely let the son of a dead political rival rummage through their office. Good idea. Well, the best. it's a weekend, so the place should be empty. I know these rich government types. They don't work on their day off. How are you going to get in? You need an employee card. Hmm. Hold on. I might have something. We going 007? We used to call this the skeleton key. It's an access card like any of the government issued ones for employees, but it's got a chip so you can adapt to any sensor in the system. Opens every door in the city. You're kidding. We used it for investigations that required a little discretion. We got into buildings like Raban's all the time. Pretty cool, huh? Shouldn't you give it back to the police? Please. The pension isn't what it used to be. I took a few things for myself on the way out. Can I borrow it? Maybe. What? What do we say? Please. <laughs> Please and? Thank you. There you go. That's the Richard I remember. <laughs> See you for now. Bye. Well, convenient plot item acquired. The access card Judy loaned me. The police use it to open any electronic lock in the city. I hope I won't get in any trouble using it. That's highly unethical to have and use just willy-nilly. All right. All right, I think I'm going to leave it there for right now and go grab a cup of coffee. And after that break, I'll see you guys back. <laughs>